Welcome. A very special Easy Jerry's Game Podcast. One that you find if you're on YouTube. Sorry, a little spoiled, but we have, of course, with us finally again, the one, the only my co-founder, Alejandro Panango. How are you? I'm good. I'm good to be back, Achievers. Back to, you're like, um, you're like Batman when he puts down the mantle and you look back mm. and you're like, one more time. You just pick it back up, mm. look at it for a little bit. Still fits. And you're back <laughs> on, you're back yeah. on. Yep. Sorry if we're coming in, we're coming in a little different today. So there's a couple of news stories we'll get into later. We're rec- we're recording later. So you might notice there's a breaking story that we just got on that only went live about 30 minutes after we started recording here, but. How you been? You've been off from the show for a little bit. Let's get a little like recap. Yep. Make sure you're good and get a little pulse check. How are you? Mm. Uh, I'm still alive. Uh, ba- having two kids is uh is very uh rewarding and fulfilling is what you want to say. Let's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. mm-hmm. uh, but that's good to hear. Let's just say let's just say that I I I, I don't have a lot of time to myself. Yeah, we'll say that for sure. Yeah. Um, but we're glad do you at least have the time to stay with us yes. today. And of course, yeah. we'll get into a question later on. But I want to start with the show, of course, with always. Not so rapid fire. Atlas announced a co-op card game being developed with Pandasaurus Games. It's going to be targeting a Q4 2023 release date. Here's a little subvert of the game. Quote, players will take on the roles of their favorite phantom thieves and fight to change the world in this cooperative card-based strategy game. End quote. Also, the 25th anniversary of the Persona series ended recently, resulting in not a Persona 6 announcement that many people thought we would get. This actually ended, I think, like three, four days ago, maybe over the weekend. There was like a concert, and it just sort of ended. I think everyone was hoping for like a big game, but it looks like we all we got was this, which... I don't know. I, I'm I'm fine with it. We got the Persona 3, 4, 5s coming to Xbox. I, could, I mean, I couldn't ask for more as an Xbox fan, so... What what's up with these card games happening? Like, is this a thing people have been asking about? We got this. We got Midnight Suns. That's a this is isn't that like a card yeah, strategy? Yeah, no, game it is. Too? No, you're right. It, it definitely is a card ish strategy game. I, I I find I think Persona is one of the games where it it makes sense to do a card game just because so much Persona in the game. Okay. Uh, so many Personas. So I feel it there, but I do get I it get that, that card based is kind of making a resurgence. It is interesting. I'll, I'll talk about it later, but I am playing Inscription, another card based game. And it's like, mm-hmm. I do think card based games are making a semi resurgence. And I really can't point to you what it is or why. You're going to see a Kingdom Hearts re re chain of memories with or re 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 all every <laughs> Overwatch 2 is at a rough launch. So to try and ease players' frustrations, they're going to give out a skin for Reaper for anyone that logs in between October 25th. December 6th, you'll also get a yes. health, health pack charm for your weapons. And they're also going to be start doing some double XP weekends for the Battle Pass. But don't don't know dates for those. Imagine they'll be pretty soon. Because, uh, I mean, double XP weekends are pretty easy to do. So I imagine we'll get them relatively soon. Uh, I, um... Well, actually, you know what? I'll save it. We're, we're about to get into what we've been playing. A filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission by Snail Games showed us how much it costs for Sony to put their huge MMO survival game Ark Survival Evolved on PS Plus back in March of this year. The number? $3.5 million. Conversely, Microsoft paid $2.5 million to have it on Game Pass for the first half of the year and $2.3 million to bring Ark 2 to the service when it comes out. Now, the Ark 1 figure was an extension on the already agreed upon three-year agreement, which apparently was extended past that agreement to that six-month period to the June, uh, and will feature the game on Game Pass for three years, starting June 2019th and ending June 30th, 2022. So, uh, of course, that's already done, but it was interesting to see these numbers. I'll be honest, the Game Pass one seems a bit low, especially to feature Ark 2 for up to three years. That's why I'm like, hmm... There might be some sort of back pay or royalties involved with that. 2.3 just seems incredibly low for having it be able to feature a game for three years. But maybe there's something I'm missing uh, in this kind of announcement that they released in a, an SEC filing that the it's company weird. had to release. 
It's weird too because they they make such a big announcement with the Rock being not the Rock, Vin Diesel being in on like in the game. You would thought that would be like, oh, we have like you know this big actor. You know, I feel like that would be you know be more money. Yeah, me too. I, I, and also, Ark is, I mean, as I it's, understand, I pretty mean, popular. popular. So yeah. yeah, a little surprised to hear such a thing. That's why I imagine there has to be some sort of royalty or something in the back end of it had this many hours played, you get this much or some sort of milestone feature. I don't know. Mm. This is more of a personal rapid fire. I saw a trailer for a game called Signalis. Please go check it out. It looks really good. Some of the previews are out for the game, and it's going to launch October 27th. It looks incredible. I really do want everyone to go check this out. It's very close to Halloween. It's very scary, kind of creepy. Uh, it invokes Dead Space, Resident Evil 1 and 2 kind of vibes. So I want everyone to go check out the original ones uh, for Resident Evil 1 and 2. Uh, but it looks very, very cool. So I cannot wait to try this out and i went from not knowing the game to an insta buy just like um just like that other game with the talking gun i'm blanking on the name right now also coming I to playstation life? the other one i on life does oh. have talking weapons but there was the one it looks God, like portal i, I mean oh it's definitely God. portal uh, mixed with high i know life. exactly what you're talking about you yeah. know what i'm talking about everyone at home is like it's this and i just can't think of it but uh that is also another game that went from i had no idea what it was to i saw that and was like insta buy so very excited yep. for the uh before the end of the year Push Square and Axios have great articles detailing what Haven Studios wants to change the way games are made. Something along the lines of a cloud-based technology similar to something like Google Docs, although that is a huge dumbed-down way of explaining it. I was trying to read up on this. It is incredibly complicated, and I can't even parse through some of that stuff. Achievers, let me know if you have a way of describing what they're looking at. It does seem that they want some sort of ability to disperse tools widely versus having to like work at a specific station or something i don't know i just thought it was fascinating we already heard haven's trying to do this i mean they i think they have more engineers working there than like artists and things so they clearly are working on a specific engine or at least an engine type experience to help development be very curious to see more of that the entropy center is thank you entropy center i wouldn't have got that never yeah i yeah Entropy Center. Wow, what a name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apple Music has launched on Xbox One Series S and X. Go enjoy that if you care, if you're in the Apple community. It's cool. Will I use it? I generally just put things on my phone, but yeah. maybe I should try this out because I do have Apple Music. So maybe I've tried the Spotify thing. Where I did I too. play Spotify in the background. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. It's cool. It's just, I don't know. I don't find myself needing it. It's just kind of, yeah. it's just kind of cool that I can do it, you know? Yeah. I feel like it's, I mean, I guess the music thing is just for, like, game. I, like, I, the only way I would see using this is, like, you know, Kingdom Hearts, you know, oh, it's time to grind for the next two hours. So I'm just going to chill, but, like, you know, and play, play music. Yeah. But I'd be listening to the music in the game. So yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I've tried listening to music while playing another game. It just, I, I can't. They can't. I can't do it. So there's a new improved Steam app on your phone. Go check it out if you care about Steam. You can, um, you, there's i'm already blanking on what the features were i know you can download things onto your steam account like on your pc remotely which was a cool feature of course there's a couple other things apparently people will actually were really excited when the app launched i'm not a big steam guy so i'm probably not i don't i don't really care about this but i thought it was important to bring up because it did look cool kind of cool yeah qr code sign in authorized yes. devices thank you thank you yeah yep yeah there's a bunch of stuff now, of course, I like to begin the show with a single question I pose to my co-host, and of course, that today is, Alex, what mm. have you been playing? Now, of course, you don't have to tell us what you've been playing for the last seven months since you've been gone, but you can at least <laughs> fill us in on what you've been playing for at least the last week. Um, so we Overwatch 2 when we can, because uh, some of the servers are just ridiculous. Overwatch 2. You already brought it up. I didn't think you'd lead with it, so I'm stealing the ball the immediately yeah, you brought it up. I, I, I pass it to you. I love it. Um, I've playing nothing but Overwatch 2. Yeah. Um, I've been mixing that with Inscription, actually. Um, but I, I won't move on to the other, because I've been playing actually a lot of games. But uh, Overwatch yeah. 2 is something I've been playing. I love it. Um... I will counterpoint and say it is Overwatch, but I would yeah. like to remind everybody that Overwatch is probably the best hero shooter ever made, or at least, um, at least to me. So it being pretty much the same thing still means it's one of the best online PVP experiences probably ever I've had or period. So, 
Uh, but I've loved it. I, of course, have had problems. I am furious that... Don't know if you know about this, Alex. I think you do. Mm. That when you get an achievement on Xbox, and this is the only place mm -hmm. that this happens, you are kicked from the game and you cannot log back into the game until that game is over. I don't know what's going on with that. It's still not fixed. It honestly little frustrating that it still hasn't been fixed it's been a week so we should we should be getting a fix or at least tell us how to avoid it or maybe ask xbox to disable achievements or something for the game i don't know but it's incredibly frustrating it's happened to me i think a total of three times but two of them were in competitive matches which is not good because you get penalized if you leave those and of course yes. those aren't my choosing yeah. Like, I'm not choosing to do this. I'm just getting achievements. No, yeah, like, it just, you get kicked out. Like, what was it? How long did you say? You said it was, like, an so hour? The first, you had to wait? So the first time it kicked me was an achievement, and it was 10 minutes. The second time, I the game just straight up crashed. If a hard crash went to the Xbox screen, couldn't get back in. That, it That's banned wild. me for an hour. And I think if you do it a third time, it's, like, two hours. Fourth time is, like, eight hours. And the fifth time, you're banned from competitive for the season. Now That's wild. Yeah, it is. But I believe it's like in quick succession. So like I think once you play like ten games or like play for like three days, like you're mm -hmm. forgiven. So I think I'm oh, forgiven. Okay, so like kinda like goes away. Okay. Yeah, so I think I've been forgiven. I don't think that'll happen again. I don't know. But so far I I mean, I'm in love with the game. I'll be playing this for the next month, at least probably. Grinding out competitive. Yeah. Uh, but I, I immediately sure. stole the ball. I want to hear your thoughts on Overwatch 2 and, of course, the other games you've been playing. No, I mean, I'm I'm loving it. I uh, actually... I'm finding myself playing uh, uh, characters that I've never played. Oh. So, like, I never played Lucio. I started playing him a little bit. Yeah, um, he's fun. Um, the new healer, though. Here we go. No, 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 sorry. The... The one that wasn't the the shooter one that I've been playing, I forget his name. Uh, oh, Jamaican guy, Baptiste. 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 Yes. I, I, I mean, I which I assume he's been Jamaican. Then I don't. I don't know. Mind. I believe he's. Yeah, I don't know. His accent sounds very uh, islandish, or you know. I can't remember. I, I think I don't I, know. I, Baptiste. I've been liking him. I'm I'm getting used to his immortality. Like, uh, and I was like, I've been loving it. Great. Uh, but like, other than that, I mean. It's it's Overwatch, but mm -hmm. like I I like that there is like a season pass because it makes me feel like oh I'm actually kind of like earning something for the season. So I it, like we always talk about how it's like oh this game has a season pass now this game has a season pass. These are one of the games where I don't mind it at all. I like I like that it's here. I agree. Yeah, I mean I saw people complaining. I ten bucks and I'm getting all these things and all I have to do is yeah. play the game. For reference, I am um level thirty five. And yeah, I did not. There too. I did not buy the boost. That's just been mm. playing. I've just been playing, and I'm not going. For, yep. I'm not even going for challenges. They just happen. Um, so, mm -hmm. I, and I saw a lot of people complain about the challenges again. I'm, I don't. I don't know what to say. Get good. I don't know. But I, I just. I. I. I've been passively playing, and they're just unlocking. I'm not even. I don't even know what yep. some of them are. <laughs> I'll just get things, and my score goes up, and I'm like, nice. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really care about the battle pass either. Honestly, I'm just happy loot boxes are gone. I I just don't I just Honestly, I hate buying. I just noticed that <laughs> as you said that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's been a while since <laughs> like we played Overwatch before this. So like, yeah, yeah. Loot like the loot boxes were annoying. I want to get. I want to pay for the thing I want. I don't want to yeah, roll exactly. dice until I get stuff that I like. And get something. I was like, I don't even want that. Yeah, like I'm getting all these things for Winston. I've yep. never even turned never Winston on, yep. so I don't care. So I'm happy yep. for that. I understand some people like loot boxes. I can't imagine why you would but i love yeah. i don't love i mean but i'm fine with the the certain changes in the game especially monetization wise the yeah. skins are pricey but, but i feel like all games skins are pricey fortnite's 20 dollars yeah. for their skins apex yeah. 20 bucks for That's theirs same. too yeah. so i mean yeah just seems like everyone's kind of agreed this is how much it's gonna be yeah for sure um i mean other than this destiny my god overwatch um, I've uh, played Valkyrie Elysium a little bit. I okay. enjoy. I enjoyed that. I went back to No Man's Sky for the new update. How was that? And uh, I, I it's actually, I actually it. like it. it. Like I went to because you can make you can hit relaxed, and I don't know what the settings are for relaxed. I have to look it up. But I hit custom, and I went and it went through everything. It's like, oh, okay, so how much 
damage would you take? Do you have infinite resources? Can you, do you need to use your fuel? Like you could put either like strict or relaxed on anything. You could put like set categories for everything. And I did that. And it's now it's just like, I um, got to the point where I don't have to use like really like, I don't have to get the resources so I could just make my house if I wanted to, just cause I want to enjoy it. So I just made like a super cool, like, Air, like house and like or like station or whatever and i put a teleporter that could go to the whatever that station is in the in spaces but i haven't gone into space yet i've i took i've taken like two or three hours just building my house and that's how you know how the game gets gets me is like when i'm like it's customization there's so much in there that i'm like oh i want to make this room now i want to make this room but so far i'm 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 i, I want to go back and play more yeah, I mean, as far as I understand, there's so much content. So, I mean, that, that is yeah, a game that you exactly. could really sink your teeth into. Because I really wanted, I've always wanted to see, like, oh, what's the story? You know, the, the big, the, when I first started playing this game, I was like, oh, you know, the story is, you know, you have to get to the center of the universe. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I never got there because every time I would get like two clicks, two warps in, I would run out of resources to be able to warp. Now I, I can warp without having to use resources. And that's great i mean i get it It takes uh, some people be like oh it takes the fun out of you trying to grind i'm like i don't want to grind yeah no i I like that you can choose i like that you can choose i know some people like the oh i'm running out of fuel let me find you know a planet and i'll resource and try to find yeah Yeah. i get it and that's cool Uh, i think i find myself in moods like that as well but yeah Yeah. if it's not fun yeah you just there's an awesome that's awesome that they at least have the ability to pretty much skip an entire mechanic in the game yeah, and it's crazy too because like there was an, a part where it was like, oh, I need copper to be able to do to make this thing. You can't just make it, so you actually actually had to go get some copper mm. to to grab it. So it's still making you do certain things for the story. So it's yeah. not just giving you everything. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. I, I'm glad that No Man's Sky is still going, still kicking. Yeah, as it's yep. um good that they at least made up for what happened with that game, and and I'm and I'm happy for them. Uh, yeah. I've had a very busy. I've been very busy these two weeks playing, just playing games. And one yeah. thing I want to bring up is, um, of course, subscription. I have begun that. I'm already in Act Three. I can't, I'm addicted. I love this game. It is so good. Um, I am. It's. I can't spoil anything, and even describing what happens to the game is spoiling. So what I'll say is, I enjoy the use of the game mechanics that's and the setting that's and it's something that only games can do you can't really do this with movies you can't really do what they're doing with tv shows it's separated up into three acts and it's very obvious what those three acts are and when you get to them it's it's transformative and i really like what they're doing i love the way that they're kind of handling the story the um it gets meta in certain ways that I very much like. I won't go on any further as of course it's getting more spoiled by the second but <laughs> the way it features the story and the way I am experiencing it is something only video games can do and I love that. Love that about the game. Can't yeah. wait to play more. Um, I feel like I'm Oh, I finished Tunic. I uh, oh, was playing yes. that last week. I, I finished Tunic. Uh, Wow. I mean, this game is that another incredible game. I've had the. Yeah. I feel like I've been drowning in riches, riches, honestly, these past few weeks. I just keep playing <laughs> incredible games. Tunic it's is cool that you went to backlog then. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Tunic is. I mean, I don't think I can add anything. What uh, you've probably heard from anyone else, it, it's an incredible game. If you like Legend of Zelda at all, or at least like the premise of that, or 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 the mechanics, I would try it. <laughs> Even if you like Dark Souls or something like that, give this a try. Mm-hmm. It's, it's 2D, it's beautiful, it's, it's really 2D, 3D. It's not 2D at all, actually. Yeah. But it's, you know, kind of like a 2D and 3D environment. I love, I'll, I'll say this, I love the story. I love the instruction manual uh, mechanic of the game. I love the the way it ends, and I, again, I can't go into much about that, but there are ways that you can finagle with the ending that I very much enjoy. And the story is incredibly complex. And it is so cleverly hidden. And I love that about the game. Love love when you can get a very complicated plot hidden in this very simple looking game. And I love how dark it gets. This game gets very mm-hmm. dark. This game is... This game features things and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> like, this is pretty messed up. And I had a huge smile on my face the whole time. But 
that I think is pretty much everything I've done. I'm slowly ticking away on Destiny 2, finishing up the Master Challenges in King's Fall. I can't wait to be done with that. I've kind of hit the Destiny Burnout. That's why I'm not really playing. I only really get on to do the challenges I have to do. I have one more week of that, and then I need to do two more of the GMs in the game, and then I'll pretty much be done for the season, I think, until either the new season or Lightfall. Um, because I, I, as of recording, we have five days to what I call the Game Avalanche. As we immediately, once we hit the 18th, we have game after game after game coming at us. Stopping it. So I'm very excited for that. So once we hit the 18th, I, I, it's all hands on deck on, on playing Plague's Tale, Goth, it, Gotham Knights, things Call, of, Call of Duty. I mean, it's... Literally, Scorn comes out tomorrow, Scorn. and I'm you're already... I'm even thinking about, I'm like, I might jump on that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, technically, yeah, it starts kind of tomorrow if you like Scorn, which I do. Yeah. I'll try it. I already have it downloaded, too. I watched a gameplay of it from uh, Fighting Cowboy playing it, and, like, the beta demo thing, and it was interesting. Like, the puzzles, like, it's, like, it's interesting. So I was, like, I definitely, it's it's gross. But <laughs> of course. But it's a cool gross. Yeah. Rumor Roundup. A new update, version 1.07, has landed on Elden Ring, the hit game by From Software launched earlier this year. Now, why are we why, now why are we bringing this up in Rumor Roundup? Well, a data miner going by the name of Lance McDonald noted on Twitter that, quote, menu strings related to ray tracing features, end quote, have been added to the game, suggesting that we can expect inline software coming to Elden Ring in a future update. But that by itself, of course, is not that interesting until Lance, a content creator named Zuli the Witch, Noted there are references to two new maps that do not exist in the game currently, or at least in the data of the game of Elden Ring, hinting at DLC in the near future. Now, it got a much more complicated upon reading how they're pretty much explaining this, but they pretty much had four data points laid out, and they were like, you know, this is M10, which references the original map, and this is like M15, which re references some other part of the map that we already know about. But then there's like M25 and M30 or something like that. And these are things that have that have no existing coding, but we know it's referencing an island. Like, given the coding. So, there's something in the coding, or at least they're prepping something to happen. Um, they also announced in this patch that they're go they are implementing tech to be able to separately buff things. So, they'll be able to separately buff things in PvE and pvp similar to what a lot of things do like destiny destiny does this thing too where they can make something stronger when you fight something that's of course in a computer and then you can make something not so strong when you're fighting like a person so that is another thing that was in that update but alex i think we knew dlc was coming to Elden Ring. it was really more of an if yeah. i think the game kind of even hints at what it is i wouldn't be shocked if that middle section of the map that's kind of clouded opens mm -hmm. up to something maybe a portal or something or so, who knows but maybe there's an well, there's island an, there i don't know well there's an area you know how like kind of the map kind of like in the center like that where the ocean is there's some clouded area yeah. and stuff like that doesn't need yeah. to have opens like that could be there and i was thinking i was like would do you think because elden ring has been so big since you know like the main dark soul series and bloodborne do you think that they'll ever do like a crossover or oh. some type of DLC? Be like, oh, be like, oh, you know, we're, like they said, old two new maps. Do you think we'll ever get like a character, like you know how they did with um, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. He was from Dark Souls and they added him into here, the bald guy. And oh, he was a thief. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I'm blanking on his peace? name too. He no, was, no, not peace. Uh, no, it's it starts with a P. It starts with a P though, uh, doesn't it? See. Yeah, you oh, look him up. God, he was a spider in Bloodborne, me. I think. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I I could see that like have some sort of curve of through line through the games. I would hope not. I, I think FromSoft enjoys being untethered. I think that's why yeah. they ran away from Dark Souls. Ran away in quotes, of course. They did those three games, and they were very clear. Like we don't want to do that again. We want to kind of do our own thing somewhere else. And they and they did. They made Elden Ring. Got millions of accolades, millions of praise. So it will definitely win game of the year. I don't think really anything has a chance other than patches. maybe God of War patches. Thank you. I knew it was a P. Hey, yeah. So patches. I I, I I'm interested in that. I just assume it's going to be something new. I, I think yeah. I, it will be a Bloodborne DLC type scenario where this is just a new area, and you're going to run around. Okay. And nothing too exciting as 
we don't have anything to go on. We just know the DLC probably is gonna come. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, what they did with um, I think what was it, Dark Souls Two? It was one of the C- one of the I think it's a DLC boss or a hidden boss where it was a uh, a samurai and yep. it was supposed to be kind of like a hint to uh, to Sekiro. Sekiro. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if something we find in there is hinting at something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think people look at um the general boss in Sekiro to be a test for Elden Ring. Um, and of, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and of course, the Demon of Hatred maybe also was a test. This very oh, big God. thing that you had to run around. So, yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if there's something in here or in a DLC later on. We have a lo- rather large rumor coming from Insider Gaming's Tom Henderson as his sources are saying Sony is aiming to ship 30 million. PS5 consoles in the physical year of 2023. That is, of course, from March 2023 to March 2024. As a reminder, this is a large increase of about 70% from the goal last year of 18 million sold, which was actually an internal goal that had to have been lowered midway throughout the year, um, of course, due to COVID and supplies restrictions and things of that nature. This will also feature two systems, as you have come to know now, but this will be the, uh, but this will be the new model that will feature a detachable disk drive, which apparently may be the big driver on how they were able to increase the production so substantially. And it's important to note that 12 million of that 30 million units will be the current PS5, as we know it, until they cease production of that unit around holiday of next year. So, I don't know if you caught up with this, Alex, or saw the rumors uh, a couple weeks ago. There's apparently going to be an external disk drive for the PS5, mm-hmm. and they're going to be adapting... Yes the console that we know currently into pretty much we just have the digital version and then they will the $500 model will be a PS5 with a disk drive attached to it in the back which not a huge fan of as it sounds tacky to me uh it yeah. doesn't it doesn't sound attractive to the eye my although thing, the, although the box is already pretty hideous so like so you know like so not crazy but. my thing with that is are they adding a port to that one or are you just are you are you going to be sacrificing a usb port that's a good point i i did think about that but i don't think i brought it up in that show if if they add a port not a big deal but if you're losing a usb c port that doesn't seem yeah, fair you have one usb c port in the front one us regular usb a in the front and then you got two in the back yeah so mm-hmm. like you might have be losing to use one. one of them might be yeah, if you're one. losing one i mean like i'm using all of mine for one for external hard drive one for the charger and i mean i'm not using the one in the front but i or actually if we have the headset if i ever use the headset well you might so, use your vr mm, okay so that your psvr might plug up to that first one so yeah you're kind of out if you have a vr yeah. headset so hopefully they're adding a new one um this is a new model and we don't have pictures i don't think people have seen it yet it's just been internal speculate not speculation but sources and things telling everything hopefully they're adding one that seems a bit frustrating if they just use the things and i will bring up i understand the financial reason regardless Mm -hmm. but they are making these things more expensive in a lot of regions and now they are taking things away from it regardless if it's detachable now or not i understand that you're not in theory taking anything away it's just comes across as strange when you are both upping the cost in all of your regions except of course america where you you sell the majority of your things and also you're going to make it look probably uglier uglier and potentially losing a port with a detachable disk drive it just doesn't seem like something you would want to do when you're trying to build a new generation Uh, clearly when we're so close to a ps slim or ps5 pro already already it's it's interesting that they're already changing the method up port wise i feel like the best bet would be it's gonna we look weird but to use where the camera would go like if they said the camera's optional for vr not a lot of people are really gonna buy it i feel like they should put the disk drive to that port so you don't lose a usb port Mm. yeah it'd be weird but (laughs) i mean i'd rather have that than lose a port yeah for charging or something yeah yeah it's it's strange and i'm glad you brought that up i honestly didn't think about it but uh back to the uh, core of the story very surprising that they're able to very bullishly say 30 million units of next year that's very very bullish i i I could see i honestly could see them selling all those units uh within a year um it's just going to be i would say pretty challenging but it 
we it's just, just crazy that they went from like oh we don't have enough because of the chips or anything to we're to like now, hey, we're gonna send 30 we million. Have 30 I don't million. know. I just like I don't know where. I'm like, where did you get this from? Yeah, it's it's a pretty dra- It's just it seems drastic. I I feel like I believe them because it's such a high number. I, I am like they're if they're just pulling that out of their ass. I, I that that just doesn't look good for sh- you know that makes your shareholders nervous. Like oh why mm. are you lowering? They've already done it before. So I imagine that they're they're positive that they're doing this now so we'll we'll see what how what comes from it 30 million is no small feat but the ps5 is selling like an like an, it's going out of style so it, it's yeah. it's oh, yeah. i don't i trust that these are all going to be so especially holidays i mean these things are flying so i mean even when they have something like i still haven't seen any like yeah they keep selling yeah yeah they're selling i i i they're, they're gonna be gone so next story now this was one of the ones i referenced to earlier this is a a new story that I found as I was getting ready to go live. Could not do a write up, so I'm going to read this from Insider Gaming. Of course, Tom Henderson yet again. Great stories recently from him. He's kind of been ramping up his stories, I feel like, in these last few months, and I love it. Uh, but I'm going to be reading. Make sure to go give this a click, guys. I hate reading uh, full on articles because you lose the clicks. Not very, not very right. But let's let's start. Regular Call of Duty Leaky Boy, the Ghost of Hope, has reported that Modern Warfare 2 will have a campaign DLC that is scheduled to release in 2023. In response to these claims, Bloomberg's Jason Schreier has also weighed in on the news cooperating Hope support. Quote, next year they'll be selling new stuff for Modern Warfare 2, an expansion or something like that. Not sure exactly what it'll look like, but it'll have campaign stuff too, he said on Twitter. Insider Gaming was also able to cooperate last week's claims that Activision was planning to release quote-unquote premium DLC for year two but at that time campaign was not mentioned Troy had previously alluded to some form of paid DLC coming to Modern Warfare 2 in early 2022 with a planned free to play title coming in 2023 Insider Gaming understands that this free to play title was almost certainly Warzone 2 which I think was pretty clear now I will uh, I I think we we got that most of that article but I will quickly uh, kind of round off this conversation with I think they have to release something next year just to seem strong because if it if everything keeps course, we're not getting a Call of Duty next year, which will be the first time in twenty plus years. That's just, it's going to be weird. So I'm assuming that's what this is going to be. It's going to. Do you want to see it? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It, 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 I actually I actually agree with you. I, I don't. I want to see it with my eyes. I want to be at November 9th. I want to make them too much money for them to skip a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I want to be like November. And there's no Call of Duty like mentioned. They already say it's guy. Like I won't believe it until they tell me with their mouth that we're not getting one. But I do. I I I, I am getting more and more belief when things like this are featuring. I, f- go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, do you feel like because I, I still don't feel like Warzone Two is gonna come out with this, um, with Modern Warfare or Warzone Two is not well, gonna come out with Modern Warfare Two. No. Do you feel like no? It's coming out in uh, November, I believe. Warzone Two. Believe so. Did they? Okay, I don't because I was gonna say I don't remember if there was if they did say a date. Yeah, they probably did. It's been pretty recently. I wouldn't be shocked if you didn't see it. Let me see here. Okay. Warzone Two, Jesus. God. Yeah, because I didn't know if they were this if is... they were doing the if I didn't know if they were doing the thing like how how uh, Halo did, where the co op or forging coming out for like a year later. And I was like, does that mean like where the just because they're skipping the Call of Duty of next year? Warzone will be their Call of Duty for the year, but I don't know if they could. I don't know if they could wait that long. Yeah, I don't think they'll wait that long. I think Warzone Two is going to be pretty soon. I could say as my at least they, I know least Warzone Two DMZ, which is going to be their like Escape from Tarkov like mode, where it's like survivally and and like very serious. Mode, that is going to apparently launch November sixteenth. It's an extraction style gameplay. Yeah. So you said when is that? November sixteenth. Okay. And I believe Warzone Two is around that time as well. Yeah, it says yeah November sixteenth is said it's set to put it to release. Yeah, and then that's also when DMZ comes out. Hmm. So we should be getting in November. Um, I uh, I looks like they're trying to get it before the end of next year. We'll see if yeah. it doesn't get delayed. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I I'll be curious to see if it makes that date as it seems like original reporting says it would have been early next year, but maybe they were able to sneak it by. Who knows? People have already played it, I believe. Yeah, they had a like a preview event like a for a bunch of content program. creators and IGN and yep. your game spots and all these things. So they have it playable. <laughs> Who knows if it's ready for a mass release though? Let's start the actual show for the week. Well, we're talking about this yet again, and although I wish we could be done with talking about the pending deal of Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard, the pertinent news came about recently, but not very surprising if you've been listening to this show at least. The UK Competition and Markets Authority recently had put a halt on the deal as they have had their fear um, that there may be some sort of monopoly brewing if this deal is, a, uh, is to be allowed, something, of course, PlayStation agrees with, at least in the court of law. Now, not much has developed concretely as Sony and Microsoft continue to battle out legally in these courts. Many of the same accusations have been thrown at one another. But important nuggets sprang forth during one of these discussions, and we can see exactly what a lot of people have been speculating Microsoft would uh, wanted to do originally, which is, of course, bring Game Pass to PlayStation. And apparently, this already happened, and Sony, of course, denied it. Quote, this is from one of the filings. This increased competition has not been welcomed by the market leader Sony, of course, this is Microsoft talking, which has elected to protect its revenues from sales of newly released games rather than offer gamers the choice of accessing them via its subscription, PlayStation Plus, end quote. Kind of lambasting them a bit there, stating, all right, well... Why does it have to be competition? <laughs> well, clearly, uh, PlayStation is very upset right now because they don't want this deal to go through as it just makes their direct competitors stronger so why wouldn't you not want it to happen now yeah from uh my point of view i don't think this was ever surprising i think the end goal is always to get game pass on playstation this that will take such a drastic change in the conversation as of right now that i couldn't see it happening for at least another 10 years period oh, yeah um Specifically from this situation right here, as I think relationships are going to be incredibly soured from this specific situation, as they've been kind of lobbing pretty big accusations at each other. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of these people are still human. They, they're they going to be uh, influenced with emotions. So I do think the relationship at both of these branches, at least in the high executive levels, are going to be a bit strained here. But. Alex, and when you read this, of course, my, uh, Sony blocking Game Pass on PlayStation, to me, I mean, I wasn't very surprised. What did you think of this? I'm not surprised either. Until, until PlayStation either are okay with being like, hey, well, if you want Game Pass over here, we want PlayStation Plus, uh, PlayStation Plus over there, or get off their high horse about this whole console war thing still happening in their head. I don't feel like I don't feel like Game Pass will ever come to PlayStation. I don't think so either. I, I, I do. I wouldn't be shocked if, if this deal goes through. If slash when, yeah. that Call of Duty kind of is a bargaining chip. I, I wouldn't be shocked if that's used at all. It's like, well, you know, yeah, we're gonna make Call of Duty exclusive to Game Pass. Yep. And that's just up to Ooh. you if you want to have yeah. it on Game Pass or not. We just need to launch in your system. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't yeah, be shocked yeah, if that's a situation now. Mission goes through. Yeah, they're gonna be like, hey, we have Call of Duty, and it's on Game Pass. And you're not going to get it unless we give you Game Pass. So are you going to do it or not? Yeah, and, and to be fair, they're saying they're not going to make it exclusive to Xbox. You know, legal talks, maybe they make it exclusive to Game Pass. And of course, Game Pass I mean, is all, accessible all, other places. All, so I mean, they so could, who knows? They I, will, I, will be, I will say it is important to bring up that Phil Spencer did, did apparently say that he would extend the deal past the current agreed upon four year agreement that they have, I believe. Um, or at least the, the, I believe that covers the next three Call of Duties, and he said he will do two years past that. And of course, Jim Ryan said that is, of course, inadequate, and that did not suit his needs. And these have been a lot of back and forths from each other. Phil Spencer, of course, of well, Phil Spencer, of course, talking out of both sides of his mouth a couple times, as well as Jim yeah. Ryan, as as both uh, as PlayStation strategy has been to use exclusives to their advantage. It's really since yeah. the PS4 launched. And yeah. and uh, they are of course lambasting Xbox of that happening, and Xbox has pointed that hypocrisy out as well. But of course, Microsoft is doing the corporate thing and is shoving down our throat how much of a greater place it will be after uh, 
they buy Activision. Everyone's going to be have such nicer lives. They, they keep saying words like these games will be the more people. Everyone's going to have money when we do this. Like it's going to be so much nicer. We'll define our lives from when Microsoft bought Activision. It's going to be so much better. Like so clearly they're also full of it as well. I don't think yeah. I can add any more to this conversation as I've we've almost talked about this like every so month times. every month since they've been doing this. So Sticking with Xbox, Phil Spencer definitely showed off a prototype, or at least maybe a final mock-up, of the long rumor, but pretty much mostly confirmed at this point, Project Keystone. This is, of course, the even cheaper entry point into the ecosystem of Xbox that didn't even need many internals, as it's meant to stream apps and be able to stream via the cloud. Now, Alex, I don't know if you saw this. Phil Spencer mm -hmm. did his fun thing where he took a picture of his little you gotta love it. thing love behind him. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. And he takes a picture and he posts it in... Um, uh, on Twitter, of course, everyone has been trained to look at his bookshelf and piece things out. If uh, mm -hmm. ooh, that's, of course, how we uh, we never, no one noticed it, but he originally had the Xbox Series S um, back yeah, there. Like, oh, just, no one ever yeah. noticed until we saw the the picture, and then people started bringing mm -hmm. up the whole thing. And was like, oh my god, he had it on a shelf, and no one, you couldn't tell. It was just a white box. And of course, mm -hmm. the second time he did this. At the time, I didn't believe it. I really thought it was a coincidence. But he had the Xbox symbol with the Kojima production statue next to it. And of course, now we know that Kojima and Microsoft have signed a letter of intent to make a video game. Or at least do yep. something together. So now that is confirmed as well. And of course, this is no excuse as he clearly showed a picture of the Keystone. And this was a clear marketing tactic as even the Xbox official Twitter account kind of got in on the conversation in quotes and, and kind of poked fun at the situation. So, um, Alex, uh, it looks exactly like you would, what you would probably picture this thing would look like. It looks like a smaller I mean, like series as S small as a controller. I mean, if you think about a controller, it's that small. Yeah. So it looks, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much the size of that controller. So yeah, I mean, it looks cool. I, I don't, I'll be interested to see if this is popular as it, I don't think I would use it just because Cloud, I would rather just have played the game, but I'm curious to see how yeah. popular this is. And I do think it would, it is a, it's, it's like right there where like, if you're going to buy a streaming stick, maybe just buy this thing. Cause like you get the apps and you have the option of playing video games on it. So I don't yeah. see, it, I think I would because I, sometimes I'd be in the, I, I'm in the other room in where the system's at is being occupied. I don't want to move the system back and forth. So, so I could see myself using this. I was talking, I was talking shit. Like I wouldn't use it. Sitting behind me is an, a TV that I don't use. And that's in it's begging for a system to be plugged up into it. That's a perfect thing to buy. Plug it up yeah. to this thing. Every now and yep. then the missus wants to use the TV. So for something I pop in here and I play something on game pass or whatever. So, yep. She wants to, she wants to use the OLED. You'd be like, all right, I guess I'll move in here. Mm -hmm. And it's, you don't have to move your whole system. Yeah. 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 I have like three sets of cables all around my house because I don't want to move all the cables. So I just unplug and play. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I should do that too. Yep. Moving on. Xbox Cloud Gaming sticking with them. This is, of course, the service that allows you to play any game you own through the cloud, which with no download required. It's coming to MetaQuest 2. Not much else was given or any dates or anything. This was all announced during the I believe it's called like Meta Connect or something. I don't know. It's, it all looked, frankly, awful. Uh, and when you play these games, of course, n n no Xbox game is VR compatible. So when you play them, you will get a giant movie theater screen that you can play on. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the second story, then we can talk about it all together. Uh, s during these conferences um, for MetaQuest, Iron Man VR is going to be coming to MetaQuest, as well as they announced that they have acquired the studio behind the game Camouflage and Amateur Studios, the team behind Resident Evil 4 on MetaQuest. I didn't watch this as I really I could care less about this, but I wanted to bring it to people's attention as it is in news. I did find it interesting that they were able to acquire Camouflage as little surprise PlayStation didn't buy them. I do think they are uh, PlayStation eyes are in much grander things right now. So I, I don't think they really care too much about camouflage. Clearly. Um, is, is this a big thing? MetaQuest metaverse? Is this like a big thing? Everybody's talking about? Cause I, nope, I don't, not I at think, all. I, 
Meta like, quests are okay. Meta quest is popular. I, I okay. When I was working at GameStop, I mean that was kind of the thing kids wanted because it's an easy thing. You buy the thing, you put it on your head, you play with it. Now, of course, it's more expensive now, so who knows? If, yeah, go ahead. So who knows if people actually care about this thing? Because uh, it is a hundred dollars more expensive, I believe, since the original price. So it's it was very attractive at an easy entry point. Of course, with inflation, it probably destroyed the profit margin, so they had to up the price. But I don't know. I don't think Alex has really too too much else to add about Meta. As I know he doesn't really care about it either. But I just wanted to bring it up as it is interesting that Xbox is put, putting their stuff to cloud gaming for the proof that they really don't care what you play this stuff on. They just want you to pay for Game Pass Ultimate, pay pay for this thing so you can play cloud gaming anywhere. Please, like they they clearly just want you in the ecosystem to begin with. All right, sorry about that. No, you're fine. You're fine. <sighs> uh, the cat was locked in the bedroom with the baby, and then did not want it to wake the baby up. <laughs> So before we move on, was there anything you wanted to talk about the meta meta quests before we move on to the next news story? I, I don't I don't really have anything no, to add, I'm, really. I'm it's it's weird because I'm I'm one of those guys where like I would never buy that, but I definitely want to try it. Like, you know, if you you know how uh, I don't know if it's still a thing after COVID, but like you know, when you go to Best Buy and they have the things where you could just sit there and you could try it out. Like, you know, I'd like to try it. But I would never buy one myself. I think I tried one once. It was. I love to try an Oculus Quest, so like you know, and but I, I'm never gonna buy one. Yeah, yeah. I think I tried one once. I got my dad owns one. I, I, I fiddled around. It's fun. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't care. And also, Meta, Meta sucks. It, it, hmm. it just sucks. This is gonna be an update to a new story a few weeks ago as a QA worker that worked, um that previously worked at Nintendo accused them of firing them after bringing up the ability to unionize. And as it was uh, getting more traction throughout the industry has actually settled their complaint with Nintendo and they will be receiving $25,910 for damages. Nintendo also had to agree to put a notice on the uh, uh, workers board at their original office that this uh, transpired at. Um, And of course they will have to then email that exact copy to every worker there as well. Really just a update to a story I think we covered two weeks ago, I want to say. Might have been last week, but okay. uh, pretty much this QA worker brought up during a meeting, um, w- were there any discussions on being able to unionize? And apparently that sucked the air out of the room out of everyone. Everyone was very upset, and a couple months later she got fired. And of course, mm-hmm. when you get fired so closely to something like that, you kind of go like, mm, was I fired for that? And they got mm. accused and clearly they did not want this to go any further yeah. so they were like here's twenty six thousand dollars leave us alone like so <laughs> this was clearly money to be like hey look here you go go you go, go away go away we go don't want to deal yeah. with this clearly and and rightfully so as i imagine they don't want any of this to be drawn out yeah date updates persona 3 portable persona 4 golden for Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and PC, we'll be launching January 19th, 2023. Now, let's go over the PlayStation Plus games for the month of October. Oh, so. It's going to be a good bit. Mm-hmm. So, this is mm-hmm. going to be for PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. Now, of course, we went over the other ones in a previous show. So, these are going to be for the higher tier. Grand Theft Auto Vice City the Definitive Edition for PS4 and PS5. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition PS4 Assassin's Creed Odyssey PS4 Dragon Quest Builders PS4 and Dragon Quest Builders 2 for PS4 Dragon Quest Heroes The World Trees Woe and Blight Below and Dragon Quest Heroes 2 Explorers Editions both for PS4 Inside a Fantastic Game for PS4 The Medium PS5 of course leaving um, it's already left Xbox a while ago, but of course now being featured on PlayStation in a big way. Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker PS4, a game that I wish I liked. Assassin's Creed Chronicles China PS4, Assassin's Creed Chronicles India, and Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia, all PS4 games. I've never played those, now I get a chance to play those. They're 2D, we own them on Xbox, um, but they're 2D yeah. stealth I just uh, never, games, they're cool. Never tried them. They're cool, yeah. they're short games, they're fun. Yeah. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered for PS4. Assassin's Creed Syndicate for PS4. Very good game. Ho-Ho-Come. PS4. It's a very strange name. 
PlayStation Plus Premium, this is your classic games. I'm going to put classics heavily in quotes here. Yakuza 3 Remastered, Yakuza 4 Remastered, and Yakuza 5 Remastered for PS4. Limbo for PS4. Ultra Street Fighter 4 for PS4. I might download that as I got a Street Fighter itch after watching some people play the new Street Fighter. So, kind of itching to be like, oh, I'm going to play some Street Fighter. Castlevania Lords of Shadows for PS3. Everyday Shooter for PS3. Anything speaking to you out of that list, Alex, before we move on? Hmm. To me, of none course... Nothing for the classics. I want to... Well, I want everyone to really try out Inside, if this is a game that you... Oh, yeah. you know, just kind of eluded you. Yeah, Inside is uh, amazing. And Limbo. Yes. And, of course... We are big fans of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Please go try that out. And yes. since I've recommended that already, go go give Syndicate a shot. It is underrated as the Assassin's Creed fatigue was hitting pretty hard. Just, when, just play ZV. Just the, play ZV. <laughs> um, the Assassin's Creed uh, fatigue was hitting pretty hard there. That was actually right after Unity. Um, and people were kind of tired of the formula. And people weren't really buying it. This one came out, which was arguably one of the best ones we've gotten since Black Flag. And then... Uh, it just kind of came out, it, you know, it wasn't huge. And then they went on to make um, Origins, Odyssey, and uh, Valhalla. Spider-Man Miles Morales will be coming to PC on November 18th. So get excited as all of the cool things that you could do on PC be available. There's already trailers and features that you can go check out right now. Didn't even remember this was a thing. Final Fantasy VII First Soldier, the mobile RPG, will go offline January 2023. I think offline? It, okay. Yeah. I think, it, I think it lasted a year. Because uh, I think it launched in February or something like that. I don't know. Interesting. Did even, I don't even remember that game. No one does. Because no one played it. Clearly. Because they're taking it offline. Nox! Mm. That was the news for the week. We had a rather short news week. One of the shortest we've had in a while. So yep. we can ponder and discuss really anything for these last few minutes of the show. Of course, I want to ask you, what do you have queued up for the week? But before I ask you that, is there anything on your mind? We haven't hit an hour yet in the show, so we can kind of relax and chill for a second. Is there anything happening in the news or something that has been itching at you since happened since you were gone that you'd like to discuss? Mm. We've gone for a while. Yeah. Maybe something in your I backlog can't. that you recently finished and uh, you'd like to discuss. I will say we finished um God, what was that game? Oh no no, you didn't play I, it. Immortality. Oh no, yeah. I started it and I was I was like getting I was like, oh this is pretty good. But like I, I started the game like very late in the night. So I'm like, I gotta go to bed. Mm. And I after that I was like there was just so much other stuff that I had to do and it the time that I just forgot to go back to it. But if I do want to get back to it because the more you talk about it, I'm like, oh, I do want to try that. Very strange game. I loved it. Loved every second of it. Thousand it, too. Very close to the 20, uh, 280,000 gamer score there. I'm trying to aim for that. Yeah. I think I need 300 more gamer score or something like that. Yeah. Um, How about this? How about we discuss hmm. the avalanche that's about to happen? Yeah. And yep. discuss what we are going to be playing. So I kind of want I, I want I want your feelings. Okay. Who knows when we'll be uh, able to get you back? Hopefully, we get you back at least one time before the end of the year. So what's yeah. what's your feelings on what's about to come out? We have, of course, you'll definitely have me for spoiler casts. Of course, of course. But um, well, of course we have Let's Scorn. See. We have Gotham Knights. Yes. What yeah, are some I'm of these out of thing right now? What are some of your things that you're looking forward to most? Right, as so let's see. Scorn, I think Scorn I want to try just because I don't know why, but it just it gives me very alien vibes, but like puzzly, like you know, it's very like when I was watching being it being played. If I feel like I'm on the derelict, uh, the derelict ship. If you, if yeah, it just it looks very like so. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, yeah, it's it's weird. very animated. <laughs> Seems like the mm. ship is almost alive or whatever thing it's yeah, in. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I will ask very quickly, as a couple days after that, we're getting a Plague's Tale yep. Requiem. Is this something actually, that you're interested in? As I recently played Innocence. Yes, I'm actually, like I'm, actually very much. I'm actually playing Innocence right now. Oh. I need to, I need to continue. I'm on Chapter 6. Oh, okay, so I you're believe, almost halfway. I, 
yeah, I believe there's 17 yeah. chapters. Roughly, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. I had to. I wanted to look up just to see, just to see how far without getting spoilers. So I wanted to see how far I was. Yeah, you're yeah, close I'm halfway. On chapter, I'm on chapter six, so I'm. I just started uh, doing that. Uh, I'll just say the camp. You don't know what that means. Yep. Yeah, I'm doing that. It's it. I like it. I is mean, this it's, is this something you're committed to, or are you okay playing the second one before? Like, like what what are you doing? Are you going to make sure wanna, you beat I, this? I want to play this one before the second one because since it is a sequel, I don't. Uh, and I've heard there's like you know I want I want to know what happens, yeah. and you know there could be spoilery stuff. Crazy I don't want to just happens. jump in. Yeah, so I want to finish the first one, and I feel like I can. I just need to devote the time to it. Be like, all right, I'm gonna take this couple of hours of this night and do all this. I just haven't had the chance. Yeah, but yes, I will. I definitely am uh, the plague. Uh, plague still, I do want to play that. After that, of course, technically, is Call of Duty the campaign, as that launches mm-hmm. the twentieth for anyone who bought the very special edition. Yep. I guess Call of Duty, I, I, I will be interested if the multiplayer keeps me as before Overwatch launched. I would have said for sure, yes, the multiplayer is going to keep me for sure. I'm going to be playing it quite a bit, but Overwatch has got my has got the talons in me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull myself away. What do you think? I feel like my multiplayer you will, as long as you have somebody like i.e. me or somebody that we know. I feel like it's fun with, like, of course, playing multiplayer with somebody else, especially with the... I, I'm excited for Call of Duty's online because I definitely want to try the ACR, the intervention that they have announced that they said it's in this game. I want to be able to actually fully customize the guns the way I wanted to because when we played the beta, I'm like, man, I want to unlock more stuff like because it's aggravating. Yeah, yeah. I so, will like, give them kudos for the gunsmith like mm. when when i ch- got me i want more yeah when, the, when they were changing the things like when i was able to change my gun it looks incredibly different which is something i've always mm-hmm. wanted in the call of duty games like when i change something yeah. i can tell it's different which i very much like yes uh what's that but yeah no I, uh but you yeah, know i definitely i feel like uh, it depends i guess on what you're in the mood for if you're really for like you know run and gun type of thing i feel like go with call of duty but if you want to be like strategic and like you know be like oh you know hold the line overwatch because mm. overwatch i feel like it's more of the that that one's more like you know you gotta pay attention you gotta work together call of duty you could probably just go in there and just try to find people to shoot yeah yeah i think i i'll, I'll be curious it really it's something i only will know on the 21st right no 28th 28th is multiplayer. 20th yes. is the campaign. Okay, for yeah. People so 20. Who bought the vault edition. So, I, so we'll see. We'll see if the, if that takes me now. Something that comes out the 20th as well. My own rabbits. Is this a game that you're interested? In? I don't. I don't. Th- I don't think so for me. Yeah, I, I I tried the first one. It was like it was like not for me. Yeah, I I agree. I definitely was like nah. I was never like an ex. I was never an XCOM type of person. No, the, so that's what it reminds me of. Now I've been looking for someone to talk about this with as it's not Sorry. been on my mind on previous shows but now that i'm looking at a calendar it's been brought up and i just want to talk about new tales from the borderlands i don't believe you ever played the original one did you i did not see yeah, see so i can't really go from that angle so i'll go from a different one as i haven't seen a lot about the game and that could be good that could be bad but i don't know when i when i see the game that just doesn't pull me and it does seem a bit overpriced at forty dollars if it's what i'm expecting but we'll have to see you maybe maybe it will surprise me but the first one was so good and it doesn't seem to feature those characters which is the whole reason i liked this story so i don't know i don't have much faith unfortunately with this game but we'll see i guess this is something that was even on your radar no uh because i haven't even played the first one I was like, eventually I'll go back because I do want to do uh, one year. If we have a, like a year like this, I'm gonna because I this year I devoted all my time to do replay all the Souls like yep. Soulsborne games, and I did all that. The next year, or not probably next year, but whenever we have that gap again, I want to do all the Telltale type games 
So I want to do all the Walking Dead's again. I want to do. I never finished Batman. I, I never mm. finished Chapter Two. Uh, I want to f- do Tales of the Borderlands, and then maybe this will be cheaper then. But like t- Borderlands, I mean, I like Borderlands, but like I don't even think we ever beat three, or I even beat it. I, I was just like, it's fun, but like I just kind of got bored. Yeah, yeah. It's after a while, it's like, yeah, you're doing it's the same. It's the same thing. Same like, thing. The, the skill tree didn't feel very I'm different. Saying, I feel like it was like, too much loot. <laughs> I actually kind of agree. It's not fun, like, it's constantly like, changing like, guns I, like, every five I seconds. I like loot, but I, I feel like it's, like, it's like Destiny does pretty good loot. Yeah. I feel like this does too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Now, sticking with the same date, as I want your final pulse check on this game. Gotham Knights. It's being shown so much. It oh, is so it. many trailers, but I want to. Yeah. I want to. I want to know one thing. As of course, we'll be playing this together. Yeah. Yes. I already figured out. I'll be co-oping with you with one character, and, and whoever uh, you don't pick, I'll be playing. Yeah. Um, solo, and I think I'll, I'll be playing. Either, I'll either be playing Nightwing and Batgirl. I don't. Mm. I don't know which one will be first, but yeah. See, I'm doing Red, Red Hood or Robin, and then for my solo, I'll probably be playing either. Batgirl or Nightwing? I don't know yet. Yeah. So, but but yeah, I'm do definitely playing you, do this. Do you think I've it will? First, I've been but, itching like like a fighting Arkham game. Do you think it will be good? Yes, I think it will be too. I don't think it's gonna be amazing or yeah. like. Well, what's what's the like Arkham City? I think Arkham City was like when we played that game. We're like, this game is fucking it's, awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get that with this game. I think with this I game, so I think we're going to get, it's going to get, it's, 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 gr- it's good or it's great. Yeah. I don't I think do it's going to, I don't think we're going to get to a point in this game where it's like, this is fucking awesome. I, w- I, I hope I'm wrong. I will say, I hope I'm wrong too. I will say I did watch a one minute, a one minute, just gameplay showcase of Robin fighting. Okay. It looks pretty good. I will okay. say no offense g- to wh- whoever we're playing games previously. Every time they showed gameplay of people fighting other things, it looked terrible. Yeah. I the, keep, the people kept were getting hit. Like, Why are you getting hit? It, they kept getting hit. They kept dashing way too much and not hitting things. It just yeah. looked terrible. I, dark soul, bro. Yeah, it, it just it looked so it looked so bad. This was he was dashing, but strategically like a Dark Souls boss. He was fighting a mm. one of the bigger brute characters and he was dashing. It looked very nice. It looked cool. Like and he did this cool like smoke the... smoke bomb and left a decoy and then he like ran around the guy hit it it exploded he was able to hit him like that looks fun i feel like this game has an 80 percent chance of it being fucking awesome mm. but there's one caveat and it's the multiplayer yeah because this game if the multiplayer the like the lobby or like you know like i feel like for example marvel's avengers lobby it was annoying to me so fucking annoying uh, it's so annoying. Like, I, I hope that I can literally just be like, I'm in my either main menu or game. I can go to my go to my thing. It says join game. Bloop, and I just like pop into yours. I don't know if there's going to be a lobby for so or I could just jump into your game. Apparently, this is from a game designer, I believe. That they made the co-op experience to that which you can go off and do separate things. And meet back up if you want to. So he See, described if an ex- can, if I can do that. So he just this game is fucking awesome. <laughs> so he described the experience of you playing Red Hood and you're fighting uh, a gang. And okay. out of the side of your eyes, you see a battering from Batgirl hit another person. And it's your co-op partner coming back and like helping you finish the boss fight or whatever. Yeah. If that is true, that's pretty sick. So it's kind of like because it reminds of- me kind of like of Destiny. So like saying, I'm going to go do this public event real quick and you're going to do this mission. And I'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. I go run off. And I come back. I like, hope you know. That's my, if that's my issue is the multiplayer. If they can nail this multiplayer, like you know, there's no connections, or I'm over here doing this every time I try to fight, like yeah. the bun- bunny hop. Yeah. Then I feel like this game is gonna be great because I feel like that's what was always missing to me in Arkham games. I'm like, man, I wish like you know I can have like Robin or something. Like you know, if I jump in your game, I could be Robin or I could be like you know some co-op and be like, hey. You take this guy over here. I'm going to take this guy over here. Like, I'm excited for that. Like, I feel like, oh, let's see these combos. The idea of stealthing with you sounds awesome. Yeah. Like My us- worry is I'm hoping it's the combos aren't too repetitive. Yeah. 
Yeah. Then they'll be like, oh, are we going to do the same the fa- same finisher together every single time? It's like, oh, I close line them and you and you drop them. And I sweep, drop kickers. Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 and it's the same thing. I agree with that. Yeah. I if hope it's that just, doesn't happen. Yeah. If, if that if that happens if that a bunch of times, like, it'll Guardians, get it'll get old. Guardians just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. 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 The Guardians like once it got like said, about it, that's halfway why it's to eighty percent because I'm like it's it's it could be great, but. Of course, Persona Dude. 5 Royal are coming to everything October 21st. I'm going to start it for sure. Yeah, I'm starting it, of course. Um, yep, might as well start it and get, get to start on that 1,000. Yeah, yeah, I got to start <laughs> the 1,000 because I'm going to do it. It's not hard either, which is very no. nice. Singulus, which is a game, of course, that I have uh, fallen in love with uh, very quickly, yeah, will game. be coming October 27th. I'll be for sure playing this. I believe it's only coming for PC and PS4, unfortunately. But that's fine. Mm-mm. No PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch, and Win and Windows. Yes, everything. That's what it says right here. Yeah, I see it right here. I out. see right here. Yep, you are right. Everything. Something that I'm curious about. I have the demo downloaded. Star Ocean: The Divine Forest. Now, I, I know you probably don't have any affinity mm. for this franchise. I played some of the Star Ocean games when I was growing up. I enjoyed them. Okay. Yeah. This is not is looking it? great from what okay, I've seen. Was- I'm hoping it looks better than an. Um, then I see at first grants the uh, people making it is called Triace, and they might be like going out of business soon uh, because they apparently they're reaching solvency. They actually were uh, the original creators of uh, Valkyrie Profile. Um, they said mm. they they might have to go bankrupt, which is very sad to hear. Which if mm. they're hemorrhaging money, that means maybe they weren't able to finish the game. So yeah, we'll have to see. I am hoping. It is good though because I uh, again I have the demo. I need to play it. It's just the pictures and the the, the trailers I've seen it. I, you know, didn't see. I, I see myself playing Fantasy Star before I play this because I remember back then I used to I, I I used to play the hell out of Fantasy Star Universe. Yeah, and of course October twenty eighth getting a bit spooky with uh, Resident Evil Village Winter's expansion. This is going to be the one where you feature the daughter. And this will apparently close out the. Um, Winter's, Winter's uh, story. saga story, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's so not really a saga. Tells me, Duality. That tells me that I feel like they're going to try to do this more. Yeah, um, probably right. So it's like, oh, they're going to end with the Winter story. Are you saying that we're going to have another protagonist and we're going to go through their story in this world? Like, probably. Right. I just, like, what is happening in Resident Evil? I really don't know. Now clearly they point, don't like, care. These, these are these aren't these aren't like infected or zombie things anymore. It's just it's just people with like me, like I don't know. We fought a werewolf. Creatures. We fought a werewolf. It's just super. <laughs> we're just supernatural creatures. I mean, Lady Demetrescu is a vampire. Yeah. So definitely we're just weird doing stuff. supernatural. We're just doing supernatural things at this point. Yeah. It's very strange. October twenty eighth is pretty vast as we have that we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare two of course launching, and then. Bayonetta 3, although I know you're not very interested in this game. Something that I've kept my eye on, and I actually will be playing it. I'm playing the original one right now. And Emmett Watkins Jr., I assume. Emmett for sure will be playing this out. I hope he is alive after he beats the game, as he might die from pure orgasms, but we'll have to see. (laughs) Uh, But I'm excited for it. Uh, It will definitely be in the backlog. Hopefully I finish it before the end of the year, as, again, so many games are going to be coming out. Yeah, Entropy Center is November third. Yep, go to November. Oof. And then November, of course. Then we got our, uh, we got God of War on the ninth. On the ninth, I love that I have no idea about this game, dude. I have no idea what the story is. I know is. the tears in it, and I know that Fenrir the Wolf looks like is in it. I can't tell from the thing. I, I mean, I and I know I that the know. saga apparently ends. So I'm st- I'm still betting I still betting my tacos that uh, Kratos is the world serpent. I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, I can't wait for this game. Oh, God. What if they? That's the one that that's the one that's gonna rival man for my game of the year. I don't it know. It won't it won't happen. But what if? Oh no. What if? Uh, I guess I won't say the game because it kind of spoils something that happens in the game. Mm. But you'll know what I mean by like, what if like a switcheroo happens and Kratos dies and you play as Atreus? <gasps> pretty crazy. I, I, 
I fucking. Uh, I don't think. I, I don't think it will happen. I know exactly what game you're talking about. Yeah, so. you know what I'm talking about, but like, uh, right? Like that'd be. It would explain why we haven't seen anything about the game, or there is something I think very spoilery that they can't show, similar to Spider Man, as they detailed you would fight villains and things, but there was one huge person they never mentioned. Yep. That you find out at the very beginning of the game, and it was magical to find out naturally and not be spoiled. That was really cool. So I find I feel like we're gonna have a situation similar to that in God of War Ragnarok, similar to another game that was recently released, Last of Us Part Two, as. As long as you weren't spoiled previously, there was a big thing that happened in that game and partway through the game that if that's spoiled for you, like you're going to lose a very big chunk of what it meant. It, yeah. Pure speculation, but I'm very excited for the game. Yes, very. November 10th, Dying Light 2 Stay Human Bloody Ties. I didn't even know what this is, but this is a story expansion a seemingly. Let's see. Uh, cool. I, we didn't even I, play it, so. To me, it looks more of uh, it's like a, they're adding like an arena mode to Dying Light. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Also, I almost forgot Sonic like... Frontiers is coming November 8th. Fucking Look, hilarious. I'm going to play this game. Not day one. I will be waiting for a sale. Black Friday is right will... around the corner. I will, I will, I'll be shocked if it's not Thank $30. You. You. If it's not I will 30 bucks. it when it's on sale, and I will give you my opinions then, because I know you're not going to play it. Oh, fuck no. Too many games. I will. To make it. And I, I'm probably going to be like, it's a Sonic game. Yeah, it's Sonic. You saw the trailer. That's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be spinning with some shoes. November 11th, Tactics Ogre Reborn. Heard a lot of good things. I know my dad played a bunch of it when I was growing up, and I watched him play a little bit. I, I want to try this for sure. So I'll be buying and playing that. It is, of course, um, a game that came out, I believe, on the uh, Super Famicom. Or actually, it might have been the original Famicom. I don't know, but it's very old. Very excited to play it. Something that has not been talked about very much, but we're apparently getting it. November 15th, Pentiment. Oh, so you remember this. This is the yes. Obsidian Entertainment uh, title that was kind of developed, like, not solo, but there was not a lot of the team was working on this. It was a very small group of people that mm. made this. It almost looks like a text-based adventure, sort of, but, but not really. There, You know, there's stuff going on, but mm. um, kind of like a hybrid of tech, you know, Monkey Island-ish type game. I would yeah. definitely be playing it because, of course, it is coming to Game Pass. Mm -hmm. November 18th, Pokemon Violet and, of course, Scarlet. Uh, Which one are you getting? So I have to get, uh, of course, um, I'm married, so I have to get the opposite is, of whatever yeah, she gets. Say, so wait, let me wait. Which she, one is your wife getting? Which she, one are we getting? So she's getting <laughs> Scarlet, so I will be getting Violet. Okay. okay. And um, I, it's cool. Uh, the Actually, the Pokedex leaked. So you can, so apparently only the returning Pokemon leaked, not the original, like the new ones. Oh. So I think there's like 200 of the, um, what is it called? Like that, that there's like 200, uh, returning Pokemon okay. pretty much. So cool, I guess. Dark pictures anthology, the devil in me. Oh wow, that's the same day, and yeah. and that will apparently conclude season one of Dark Pictures, whatever that means. Um, cool. I I yeah. haven't played any of them, so I can't really say anything. I um, we have we at this point, we I mean we have them all between Game Pass and then being on sale and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or I think PlayStation Plus too. I think they gave some. I uh, I think we have them all on Xbox. Um, yeah. Two games I'll be checking out: Gungrave Gore. November 22nd, I, and then on the same day, Evil West. Evil West is what I'm waiting for. Yeah, I'll be trying these two games out for sure. Okay, it looks interesting because it looks like it's based off the anime. I think so. Yeah, it looks like because Gungrave is an anime. Yeah, it looks crazy. I want to try yeah. it. Um, and, and then Evil West to me it looks like God of War mixed with Red Dead. Yep. Yeah. That I think it's it for November. It looks like we're going to dis yep December now. Yep, Callisto Protocol. Uh, December second. I forgot it was so soon. Ooh. For some reason, I thought it was eighth or twelfth. Speed is the same day. I did not realize that. Oh my god, you're right. Holy shit! Wow. Well, that's both games right there in the bag. <laughs> yep. So, oh, and Marvel Midnight Suns is the same day as well. That's all you, bro. <laughs> 
I hope it's good. I don't know. I I, I do want to. I, I want to check it out. So I think anything, it will. I'll probably watch you play it. I I honestly think, and I don't really do this as I just kind of trust my gut with a lot of games. I, I think I actually might wait for reviews. As again, I don't really yeah. care about reviews most of the time, but for this specific situation, if it is straight up just card stuff, I'm. I did love Slay the Spire, and I'm loving Inscription, so it's kind of disingenuous to say I wouldn't like a card-based... Because I'm playing two of them. We were hoping but... for what it was, you know? We were hoping kind of like, you know, Ultimate alliance yeah. type fighting, you know? Yep. But alas, it doesn't seem to be good, and hopefully it is good. Hopefully. Did you see the Need for Speed Unbound? You can turn off those anime features. I did, I did. I... I want to try them first. I'm going to, yeah. Maybe they get stale after a, a while. I feel like I it's going to be a little uh, distracting. It's going to be cool, but I think it's going to be distracting. I will say it's clearly inspired by Enter the Spider Verse for sure. Oh, for sure. Uh, apparently, December 6th, Overwatch Season 2 will begin very soon. Oh, wow. Uh, big game. One of my most anticipated Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion will be coming December 13th. There's I can't something else on that same day. High on life. Um, I mm -hmm. will I will take care of Final Fantasy. You tell me about High on Life afterwards and if you're excited yeah. or not. Crisis Core, beautiful PSP game that I played and remember very fondly as the story was very touching. I very much liked the um uh uh like the CGI fight scenes they had in the game, which which teenage Elijah at the time thought was the coolest shit ever for seeing Vincent <laughs> fight Seth Roth fight. Um, I forget his name, but Zach's teacher was awesome. So I can't wait to revisit all that again. The the um, slot machine mechanic they have in the game was very fun. So can't wait to revisit that as well. And I I've just want to see. It, so I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. And also, um, I'm curious as clearly Final Fantasy VII Remake had different story decisions. This is going to clearly end differently as there's no way from the way Final Fantasy VII Remake ends that this will have the same ending that the PSP original game had. So let's see how that happens. Alex, yeah. high on life. Hmm. So I, this game looks awesome but it's weird because i've never it's, it looks like by the people who did rick and morty and yep. i've never watched rick and morty mm. so like my it's not that i don't like it it's just i've never given it a chance it looks interesting i just i don't know how what to get from it because i feel like if i've seen rick and morty and watching this i feel like i would i i should have a sense of like oh this it's similar so i know what you know how comedic it's gonna be or how how it's how it's gonna uh the what's it called the dialogue is gonna be you know how they react but it could be completely different i don't know at all yeah it does seem similar humor although it does seem positioned differently the way the timing and executions of the jokes are being used seems right. to that they have at least paid attention to the way you have to deliver jokes in a video game as you almost have okay. to do them differently in certain aspects because okay. the way uh, the nature of storytelling in video games so the way i saw the comedy landing uh, in a lot of cases were funny and is very rick and morty in a lot of things justin roland is actually the guy kind of like the mastermind behind all of this he has a very a very very um similar humor it's very uh surrealist um and very uh a very south parky in the way of nature of pretty much every joke is a uh, alignment or at least an intersection intersectional look inside something that is happening around us or at least has happened around us. I'll, I'll be interested to see if that is the case for High on Life. Um, I was very stoked on this game, but if you remember, they showed a very weird trailer, I believe during was it Gamescom? And it looked real bad. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, there's no other way of putting it. They had a boss fight. And oh, it, the it just fight in the center of the thing where you have to swing around and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was so yeah, slow. Yeah, did not look fun. It looked so slow. It, it it looked like it went out for way too long, and I was like, wow. But yeah, the it, boss fight seemed very, very basic. Like, is this all you're going to do the whole time? Yeah, you so... You literally just not get hit and just go swing, 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 hit, swing, 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 hit. Yeah, that, that looks very, very boring. So hopefully that is just yeah. an error in judgment, or they didn't have anything ready and that was like the one thing they were like hey you know throw, show them this we don't we remember i don't know but that when i, I saw that you. i was like 
Ooh, I was like, I was up here. Like, I was like insta buy. And when I saw that, yeah. I was like, oh, what? is this gameplay well, not actually going to be fun? What is, what did I just watch? Well, isn't it, isn't it going to be on Game Pass? Yes. Yes. So yeah. I guess my okay. insta buy is, because mm, mm, no, I, I like, wouldn't have bought like, it. Day, but, day, one, day one play. Yeah, what, day one what, play is probably yeah. what I should have said. But yeah, I, I immediately went from like, uh, <laughs> let's see what yeah. what this what happens with this game. It becomes a day one day one play to drive by game. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah, January. Well, and then January, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All the other stuff. Yeah, I guess we can can quickly talk about January as there's not much else yeah, yeah, to discuss. Well, that first two months is because we have some stuff. I will say, I know you you're not fully excited, but Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is getting in a series S and X upgrade. Um, and I never played the DLC, and I have it, so I, I'm gonna go back January 13th when that releases. The 13th, you said? January 13th, yes, is when it's getting the upgrades. Oh, I mean, I got nothing, so I mean, I guess I'll be playing it. And then January 19th, of course, 19th. we covered it in the show, Persona 3 and 4. Coming to Xbox, yep. and boy, boy, am I playing these. Boy. I cannot wait. What are you gonna do first? Uh, I was just thinking that. Probably Persona 3, although... I'm gonna do. Three I want to play Persona Four. I've... I don't really want to play Persona Four, so I might, okay. I might go to Persona Four. I've only played that game once. I've never played three, and I've played four. I've started four three times, and I've put twenty hours into the game the first <laughs> time. Got stuck, got screwed over, and started it again. And I think it's because it was, uh, and I just went back to it recently, so I think I might just go to three. And I think the hits don't oh. don't stop as within January we immediately have. Fire Emblem Engage coming out January 20th, very me game. Then January 24th is Forspoken, well, and then January 27th is Dead Space Remake. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Well, if if, I, if Fire Emblem, if it if it's very similar to Three Houses in terms of uh, storytelling and how emerging it is, then I'll probably play it. Because Three Houses was super fun, but I just I, I, I just didn't get a chance to go back, and I kind of feel upset because I was like, I want to go back. Because I was loving the story on Three Houses. For Spoken, I will quickly just say, like, I, it doesn't look good. We'll see. Dead Space yeah, Remake, it's Dead Space. So, yeah. I mean, come on. It's going to be amazing. That's, yeah, yeah, and it looks great. So good. Dead Island 2 is February 3rd. Finally. We'll see if it's good. I'm going to play it either way. <laughs> just because I've been waiting so long for this game. I'm like, I have to. I got to play this game. And then Hogwarts Legacy, the tenth, right? Possibly my most anticipated game. Yeah, Hogwarts Legacy, February tenth. Yep. I hope it's. Be get, I, I know I it'll be. For my wife's birthday. I know it will be good. The question is, yeah. will it be great? Will it be amazing? Will it be phenomenal? Who knows? But you know what? You know what? You know what's crazy? Two days after, apparently, it's supposed to be the new Zelda. Oh uh, wait, is that true? I thought it was May. Did or no, push, was it March? It? Let me see. Maybe this is wrong. Or maybe I'm this wrong. Says February. Let me I see. thought it was later than that. Let me see. I'm probably wrong. Here's a kingdom release date. No, May 12th. It, it got oh, pushed. Okay. okay, so my thing is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew, okay, I was about to say. I was like, then no way, right? But yeah, yeah May, yeah, May 12th eight. for that. Um, And then yeah, okay. so that, yeah, that was, February that was 28th is Destiny 2 Lightfall. Of course, the new expansion in the Destiny universe. You and, will have me for that because I definitely want to try that. Yes, it looks cool. And that looks like it's it. Doesn't look like anything crazy in March and everything else is Q1. I don't think we need to go through all of these games. Um, I'll quickly yeah. say uh, Atomic Hearts looks really good. Um, and that's that's it. Yeah, I mean, there's some things that I'm going to try or debate on but between January and March, but I don't know. Like Resident Evil 4, I just played that for the first time like a couple months ago. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of excited to see the difference in the remake. And I'm like, oh, because apparently that's all, it's supposed to be completely different for the ending or something like that. I'm yeah. I want to see what happens. They hinted that something different will be happening at the end. We'll have to see what that yeah. means. I can definitely see why if people love it compared to the, all the other ones. So. I wonder, uh, like, I wonder if it'll do its justice some, if they change. Some people say that are. is the best survival horror game ever made. So I'm just excited to see like 
where the hypes came it's from. It's not the best survival horror. That's what a lot of people say, and, and I was like, I like eh, play Dead Space, you know? Well, yeah, see, Dead Space, and honestly, I would say play, I, I in my, all right, I'm going to get He's going to say it. He's going to say I'm it. Gonna I'm going to get yanked. I'm going to get yanked. Do it. To me, I, I liked Alien Isolation I knew way you'd better say than that. Resident Evil 4. Yeah, yeah, I mean... But that depends if you like, you know, if you love Resident Evil in that world, then yeah, that's going to be better for you. I, I can't wait to play to see what, like, what, like, why is this the game? That's, like, why, that's, is, why yeah. is it this one? Because I wouldn't be shocked if, and, you know, it's, it's it happens to all of us. You played the original before this. A little bit of nostalgia. A little bit of nostalgia in there, maybe. That's maybe color, world's color glasses. And, and, and who knows? We'll have to see. Um, that's all the releases. I, I'm actually glad we did that as. That was really fun, and it's been a. It, I, I haven't seen the dates like that uh, in a long time, and wow, I mean, we are looking at a very active next six months at least. So we'll have to. We are broke. <laughs> <laughs> and well, a lot of it, surprisingly, think uh, it's on Game Pass. A lot of it. A lot of it. Of course, I end the show just like I begin it with asking a singular question to my co-host. Of course, that is. Alex, what do you have queued up for the week? This, of course, can be a TV show, a game, a podcast, a manga, a book, a comic book, anything, really. What do you have queued up? So I'm going to definitely try Scorn tomorrow, since that, or technically today, because we're filming at midnight. My God. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try Scorn. I will give you my thoughts on that. Uh, I have been rewatching because House of the Dragon has got me into Game of Thrones mood. I went back and restarted Game of Thrones. I'm on season five out of eight. Mm, you're almost done. So yeah, almost done again. Just I mean, it's, I there was some a bunch of episodes that I've missed. And I'm like, certain things have happened. I'm like, oh, how did that happen? And I'm like, oh, that's how it happened. I couldn't remember. The rise and fall, I would hmm. say, as six through eight is contentious among the community. As some people like love and hate those seasons. Some people think it's good and great. I I think it's all pretty good, except the reason being is because there's a bunch of high moments in those last seasons, but the rest of the season is shit. Yeah, yeah, they, that's the. There's issue. a lot of good stuff. It's just there's a couple of those seasons where it's like, wow, that really dragged on. <laughs> like that really like yeah. didn't really need to be that long, but it. Mm. Here we go. Here we are. Um, my weekend looks like Overwatch. It looks like finishing Inscription really it so far i will will finally be watching thor sorry no you're fine i'll be trying out scorn thor is a fun movie um although there's there's a hilarious vfx shot during the near the beginning of the movie i know you will be like no you'll notice me like whoa what did they have five (laughs) dollars to make that effect that's very strange oh no anyways that's that's about me yeah you'll see it um but aside from that i don't really have too much queued up me and rebecca are back on our critical role bender as we sometimes do, so we're watching that show. It's so fun, keeping up yeah. with like the stories and how the D and D and things. Yeah, um, my wife and I watched uh, started watching Unmatchly again. Yes, very good. We we always yeah. watch that when, when we know it's that week. We pick it up and start watch it. Uh, we watch that yeah. episode. So good. Uh that that's it. I don't want to keep Alex for too much longer, as I've already kept him for an hour and a half, and he's got a child to go back to. So. Alex, thank you so much for joining me again. This was fun. I'm sure we'll get you yes. back on. Like you said, spoiler cast. I'm sure there'll yes. be a week I can talk you in to yes. covering for a week. And, and yeah, yeah this... it get easier once the baby gets older. You know, yeah, of I'll course, be like my wife would be like, like, let me let me do this real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So but uh, but yeah, I appreciate it. Achievers, we appreciate you. Remember, you do all the things on YouTube that you know you need to do to help the show. Five star views, all that nature. Thank you so much. Until next time. Go, Chief. Go, Chief.